Hey everyone, it's uh, Pup Twigs here again from Orlando, Florida, and joining me as my guest today, I've got Subwoofer from Factoryville, Pennsylvania. How are you? Oh, I am awesome. How are you? Same as you. It's just, it's a wonderful day here. So <laughs> <laughs> glorious so, here too. <laughs> I I really like to dig into first thing is uh, the pup's name and the choice of uh, pup hoods that you've got. So tell me a little bit about Subwoofer and about your, your choice of a, a, a muzzle. Okay, well, the name, when I came into the pup play, I was like, okay, well, I was seeing a lot of names that kind of were, you know, repetitive and, you know, like, they didn't really grab me and everything else and and the one and my friends that I was staying with they had uh they had uh sent me we actually went bowling for New Year's Eve and they have the little uh screen that you could change your name and all that stuff and digital name and all that <laughs> so when they found out I was into pup play, they kept changing my name on there to like Rover and Fido. <laughs> no, you know, being funny and everything else. And then, and then my one friend he erased it and he put sub space woofer. And I saw that and I was like, I like that. Yeah. I said that has so many meanings. I said because I'm a sub. I said and I like to woof. Uh, for barking and subwoofer as a speaker because I'm also a musician, so oh, nice. it said that was perfect. I said I that is my name. I said I'm gonna, <laughs> and it's quite popular. Everybody's like, oh my god, I love that name and everything else. Uh, so that's where the name came from. So I have a friend to thank, thank for that. Um, as for my choice of hoods and colors, I pick. Blue, I well, I like blue. My favorite color is blue. Mm -hmm. uh, I also do like pink. Eventually, I do maybe want to get a pink hood, but most of my hoods are blue. Um, I do have a frisky, frisky hood from Mr. S. I do have this one from that I am currently wearing. This is from a combination of the one muzzle from Amazon that has the tongue plus a muzzle from Mr. S leather. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do have a Full muzzle from Mr. Bear that has Velcro on the back, and uh, and my old Amazon hood. But that's pretty much what I have for that. And I have, of course, the usual gear, the harnesses, tails, and all that. Oh yeah, good little stuff. <laughs> it, it, it's fun just being able to collect all the uh, gear that goes along with this. Because uh, I, I love all the gear. My, I've got so many different harnesses and. And I'm a huge LED pup. So anything that lights up sparks my attention. Yes. And so I've got an LED harness. I've got an LED name tag. I got shoes. I mean, I've got everything. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> I, I just, this, this pup just loves lights. <laughs> oh, I do too. I actually had to light up collars that were LED, you know, they, and I have no idea where they went, but I, I, think I still have them, but one was blue and one was pink, and I was like, oh, these are really, really cool. But then when my master, uh, or my husband, my master, got me my permanent collar, I really oh, had no use for them anymore. So, I kind of got this and a lot of weight on it. So, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I see that. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm yeah. popular. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long have you been a pup? I have been a pup for probably good more than eight plus years. Oh wow, that's awesome! I, I I probably am including the when I was slowly getting into it and starting to learn and finding masters and mm -hmm. and everything. You know, I mean, like if uh, it's it was a uh, it's not an easy process to start off with because there's a lot to learn and there's a lot to get into and there's a lot to take in, as in making the right choice for things because uh, right. you don't want to pick the wrong thing because if you pick the wrong thing and there's no verbal communication, you can kind of get yourself into a sticky situation. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? So a lot of that, it w I included a lot of the time that it took me to get into it to finally be where I am 
and comfortably where I am, mm -hmm. you know, because I've seen a lot of people and a lot of pups just uh, get into something too quick and it's, you know, it doesn't go good. No, you I know, gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. So out of the time that you have been uh, in the pup community, what have you found has been the easiest for you? And then what have you found that has been more difficult for you? Let's see. Probably the easiest is to find uh, companions and pup companions to actually help you through with any information that you need mm -hmm. uh, besides your current master or anything else, you know, like anybody to help you along learning-wise. Uh, the hardest has been actually, uh, it's like I said, when I was starting out to actually find the master, you know, because... Right myself like and this would be later on for the question that comes up for my advice for the next for 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 mm -hmm. the, a person in the pup community is that when you're finding a master make sure the right one yeah. uh, you know that was that was a little hard process because um you kept getting mixed signals and i kept going through a lot of them and several of them like had disappeared on me and i was like okay well this is hopeless <laughs> you know, like, you know, so that was hard, you know, but I, me personally, I always look for the light at the end of the tunnel. I said, there's always hope. I'll always find one. And I did. You know, you it, ta it takes time. You cannot rush. It. Yeah. Don't rush it. You exactly. Don't, you don't rush it. But yeah, that, that was the hardest thing. And the easiest thing was at least to find pups and everybody to have friends. Cause I love having more pup friends. So you can never have enough. Oh, I, I, I love it. I, I have a big heart for our community, and I try to help anybody I can. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that one. So well, if, if there's something that you physically could change about our community, what do you think you would want to change? Oh, no, there's a list. <laughs> um, if I, well, let's say the top two things. Okay. One, to make pups understand that you do not you do not need gear to be a pup it is great to have don't get me wrong it is fancy and you can get it whenever you want but if you can't afford it you can't do this or you can't do it now does not mean you're still not a pup you and a lot of times people or new pups are misled and talked down from other pups saying, oh, no, you can't be a pup because you don't have this gear or you don't have that. That needs to stop. We have enough hatred. Why are you adding more? Mm -hmm. You know, like, this This is, that. that is the one thing. And then, of course, the second thing would be the hatred towards towards other pups, you know, like. Yes. I We have enough of that in the world. Like, Get rid of it. That Push that off to the side. It is time to be one big community and support each other, not tear each other down. Yeah. These, it, I'm sure this is like everybody else's top two, too, because like they hear that I see this a lot. Yeah. You know, it, and it hurts. It yeah, hurts it, it, because we're supposed to be a community of pups that are supposed to support each other. doesn't matter where the hell you are. Yeah. Sorry. Um, but like, if you could be anywhere you could be in germany england berlin uh the west part of the united states whatever we are one community one one yes agreed agreed so what advice would you give someone that's just now wanting to get into it so like going back to earlier one take your time mm -hmm. uh, find yourself explore Search for masters, but don't be quick to take one on. Oh, okay. want to make sure you need yes. full communication. And two, don't and like I said, don't let anybody tell you that you can't be a pup without the gear. The gear comes along as you go. Yes, you know, and either your master could buy it for you or you could buy it for you. But those two things that for my top advice would be for that, yeah, is make sure you choose your master wisely. And you don't want to get into something that's going to be rough for you because without any verbal communication, if it's just one-sided, it's not going to be good. Yeah. You know, yeah, and, then, and then the gear, 
you know, like that comes along. Don't ever let anybody tell you that uh, you can't be a pup without the gear. Yeah. I, I mean, anytime I talk to pups and they say, well, I really want some gear. I said, start with Amazon first. Yeah. Go, go for the cheap stuff and make sure this is what you want before you go and invest. Cause we all know these are not that, that cheap. Oh yeah, no, they're not. But I do at least I can say that some of them let you do pay uh uh payment plans. Like uh I think there's a an app called Sezzle. It's yeah, kinda like pay it's kinda like PayPal. You can actually use them with with Mr. S Leather and make payments oh like two week payments and pay every two weeks of uh, four pays or four yeah. payments. So you can actually can do that. It's kind of affordable, but you know, exactly right. To start off, do the Amazon stuff first and see how that works. Yeah. Then move on up, you know. Yeah, we got, got, I want them to make sure stuff. that this is what they want before they actually jump into it and spend exactly. a lot of money. Yes, because you don't want to spend on something expensive then later on down the road. This is not what you want. Exactly, exactly. And you just spent all that money on the gear, you know. <laughs> like, it's it just, you know... I mean, yeah, you could probably resell it and, may, and get some of your money back, maybe. But, you know, uh, start off small first. Yeah. Always the Amazon stuff first. Or Etsy, whatever. Yeah, either one of them, I'm cool with it. So, so exactly. what, what brings uh, Subwoofer the, the most joy out of Pup Play? What do you like the most about it? Oh, boy. Uh, for me personally, it's the interaction. I love it. Um the, the several events that I have been to when I started and that was with Capital Pod down in Maryland, uh, which I am a member of, uh, they, you know, it was great because they had a ball pit. There was interaction. We were acting like pups and everything. I liked the interaction. We were wrestling each other and mm -hmm. everything. And even, even with my current set of pups that are, that come, uh, that are part of my Nefarf group, uh, um and telegram you know that we get together at these fetish nights uh we wrestle we pop out we give each other belly rubs i love the interaction it's so fun it's i i i gotta tell you though i am in pup space 24 7 365 days of the year hey, i will bark at my boss if i have to but yeah <laughs> i'm constantly that is my thing is the interaction and i, I love it you know it's drinks me so much fun and then i get depressed when it's over you know, oh, yes, yes. I, I hate it because I just constantly love it. You know, I like shaking my tail. I like getting the belly rubs. It's like so fun. And then the night's over. I'm like, no. No, I don't, I don't want it to end. <laughs> I don't want it to end. <laughs> I'm, Somebody I'm throw me you. a sock. <laughs> yeah. So do you have any special play toys that you like? I know some pups do and some don't. <laughs> well... Um, I have, I do have several squeakers. Uh, I have a Woodstock, uh, toy squeaker. Uh, I didn't have, I don't have them with me, unfortunately. Oh, that's okay. Uh, but, uh, my, <laughs> I, I don't know how well this may work for the interview, but I do have, enjoy other pups back paws. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, definitely chewing on their socks for sure. Cause I have a, Kind of a foot fetish, no, um, a uh, sock fetish. So, <laughs> those, <laughs> those are my other toys, as long as they let me go for it. <laughs> but okay. but right. natural, uh, the other little toy squeakers, little things. Ball. We actually, I actually have a big, giant size tennis ball, green tennis ball that's inflatable, like a kickball, mm -hmm. and you can roll. And we roll it around all the time on the on when again uh, back and forth to each other at the events. So it's fun. Nice, nice. So, so this is more on a, a serious note, but getting in, and you said you live this 24 hours a day, but when you get into that pup headspace, what has it done for your mental health? Anything, boy, uh, any worries or anything bad that's been going on just disappears. Mm -hmm. I mean, because if I quote it best from another pup that I've seen in a video, it's like, you know, 
it takes you to another spot where you don't have to think as much. So right. that's basically what it does. It actually makes me, it takes me away from all, from all the stress of life that's been going on. And it puts me somewhere else that I can be and I can actually enjoy myself and it's fun and it takes me away. That's why I kind of like get depressed, like I said, when it ends because, mm -hmm. you know, it's over. But most of that time, yeah, it it actually de-stresses me from everything. And I could go be my go be this cop and totally uh, take myself somewhere else. And yes. take my mind elsewhere and be this and be like sniff someone's butt and whatever. <laughs> you know, be a pup and everything and, and not be a human a, a human adult where with the everyday life because uh, I'll tell you what, I look forward to the events. Like I can't stand work. <laughs> it's a pain yeah. in the rear end, you know, and that's where a lot of the stress comes from. And yes. you know, I'm just ready to get into get into the gear and pop out and forget it all. Agreed. Uh, yeah, this this is me. I just I love when I do these back to back where I could be a pup for hours at a time at home uh, and everything. I just love being able to this right here, just back and forth, just talk to to pups everywhere. Just it just that headspace is. Just, awesome. just to be just to be funny though, it's like yeah, I, I do get a lot of stress from work, but at the same time, I also bark at several of my bosses. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. The good thing about me is I retired back in uh, December, so I haven't worked in two months. And yeah, love. And they don't care. I like it. They don't care. They let I they, I could do that, and I don't get in trouble for it. They don't care. <laughs> hey, that, there you go. That that's that. <laughs> gotta love it. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> Just that, I told you, I'm 24-7. I'm a pup. I said, I will bark when I need to. You're just lucky I don't pee on your leg. <laughs> I hear <you>. That's good. <laughs> oh, man. So, you know, being in it as long as you have, that that's a long stint. But is there anything that you know now that you wish you had known before you became a pup? Not really. Okay. Um, most of the information I now I know now I did learn on the way up, and I did have a uh, my husband, master, whatever, uh, did get me a book that he actually had, and I bought a copy of it. It was called Wolf, mm -hmm. um, and it tells you, you know, the guide for it's like a guide for puppy play and all this stuff. I know there's another one out there I have to get to. Um, but yeah, it helped me out a lot, you know, like commands and all that stuff and everything. Would, but me and my master, we are not fast like others. Mm -hmm. So like we don't really we train at our own pace and not uh, not make it fast enough. You know, we like having fun a lot more. So like yes. we'll do everything, you know. But you know, if it came down to do, I'm not, I'm not so one to do. Um contest because i'm i don't feel like i'm that kind of person like i would actually win anything not saying that i wouldn't but i'm just i'm just not a, right. a competitive person I, yeah. i'm not in it for competitive reasons i'm in it for because it's fun i don't want right. i don't like anything competitive you, then then it kind of takes the fun out of it you know mm -hmm. i mean it can still be fun but sometimes it doesn't you know and uh i don't like that uh but yeah, I, there's really nothing. I, I everything I know now, I've slowly learned from from the get go. It's like you know, uh, you know, choosing your master wisely. And and before my husband and was my master and everything else, he was actually my alpha and guiding me and telling me because he was a little bit more experienced on it and helped me guide me along with all this information mm -hmm. and how to slowly get into it, how to approach it, how to. If I am talking to another master that I address him as sir, and if I talk to him in text, it's always a capital S and never never lowercase s. And how we are usually supposed to talk to ourselves as a third person, not in the first person. So mm -hmm. we always talk to us ourselves as pup or subwoofer want to play or this, you know. So all that I've learned up till now. I'm pretty sure that as I go, there'll still be more to learn. Of course. It's always, it's always learning journey. You're, you're never, 
You're never completely done. <laughs> yep, yep, I, yep, that is very true. L learn until you hit the dirt. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and so, even when you hit the dirt, you pick yourself back up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. Okay, I got you there. <laughs> So exactly. I, know, I know you mentioned at the beginning some things that you like to do, but what other hobbies do you have uh, there in Pennsylvania that you like to do? Oh, boy. Well, I do love swimming. I do like bowling. I love I do love going camping. Um, uh, I do play music in several bands. Uh, so I am heavily into music. Uh, and I listen to anything from the 40s up to the 2000 and then after 2000 it gets kind of sketchy with because i'm mm -hmm. it, 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 I like the music i listen to it's like okay well that's just you know like i just start picking out little things here and there and so but yeah more into music uh it's definitely going out hanging out with mm -hmm. with other like i said with other pups or not with other pups other pups excuse me uh and just basically doing that, but the way my schedule, the work schedule works, I don't really have time to do a lot of stuff, right? You know, but it's okay. the work and the music schedule. So most of my most of my time is work and music, and uh, basically that's it. You know, like and if I yeah. then, then when the events come up, so you can understand why. Like <laughs> I am hell bent on when the fetish nights come up. Like I am ready to go. <laughs> yes, I I totally understand everything. Oh God, saying. yeah. <laughs> so what do you have time for pets of your own do you have any animals yes i actually have a cat his name is sheldon <laughs> yes well uh, i'll even i'll even explain that why he uh, is and everybody's gonna be like when they watch this be like yeah it's the big bang theory and you're exactly right that's where <laughs> it came from because when he was a little kitten and he was so soft and you can understand where I'm going with this. So he was so soft and cuddly that he actually, when he sat up here, he fell asleep right on my shoulder. Aww. And he was so soft. And I was like, soft kitty, warm kitty, little. I said, that's it. Your name is Sheldon. You're coming home with me. Yeah, that, there you go. Uh, I really uh, wasn't going to get an animal, but you know what? He just, it's like he chose me when he fell asleep on my shoulder. And yeah. uh, right now my mom's currently checking in on him because... I am visiting my husband in South Carolina. Which this is his apartment. So oh, okay, this, all right. I'm actually in Charleston, South Carolina, right now. But yeah, I'm originally from Pennsylvania. But yeah, he, that's where he is right now. Uh, she's checking in on him. Uh, awesome. And everything. So yeah. So that's my little animal. A painted. He's a diva and a treat slut. I'm sorry, sorry oh, I have to oh, say no, that, man, but that's yeah. what he is. Uh, <laughs> I I own three cats, so I I got gotcha. you. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you you crack open the thing of treats and they are attacking your leg like no tomorrow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what about events that you have? I'm, I know you've mentioned a few and everything, but what, what events do you have going on in your area for pups? Okay, so there is a fetish night run by this group called the Nipa Kingsters. Mm -hmm. And they are a kinky group, like for any kind of kink, leather, whatever, you, okay. you know, whips, chains, whatever, uh, any stuff like that. So they are currently doing events at the 12 Penny Saloon in Moosic, Pennsylvania, uh, every third Saturday of the month. Um, March 30th, uh, they are going to actually have at this place called the Sanctum, uh, that they own, so it's like an old church uh, that they bought and they turned it into a, a kind of a play area and hangout area where they can be themselves. And uh, they're going to ho hold a pet daycare, uh, so it's all pets, not just pups, but any pets, kitties, mm -hmm. furries, you name it, uh, can come to this on March 30th. I don't know more details on it uh, as I slowly go, but I know the... It is down in Sugar Notch. It's the location of this church, and it's beautiful. I've been there before. Um, in April, there will be a pup uh, play uh, a pup play uh, event at the Twelve Penny Saloon, run by uh, uh, a pup or a former pup. Actually, uh, he 
he kind of stepped back from it too much too many things and maybe it's, it wasn't for him but you mm-hmm. know he's still trying to hold it on but i don't know more details on that just of yet okay. um but anybody you know when they get on my social media anybody who wants to hit me up and i'll try to get you any info i can so you could come out and come out and play with us because i always look forward to more interaction with more pups e- everywhere but yeah right now those are the events going on our next event is uh february 17th at the 12 penny so that's the fetish night there and it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a blast i think i might have even a couple new pups that joined our Neeparf group uh come to it so it'll be their okay. first yay well awesome well you got some good good stuff going on up there so it's about time you know we i've seen it <laughs> i i there's been events out in pittsburgh there's some down in hazelton there's some down in in Philly, you know, but we don't have anything around the Northeast PA. So when I found out, like, there's this little group of pups, you know, like, they're they're coming to the events and they're starting to grow. Mm-hmm. I was like, ah, I see an opportunity. And there's actually, and there's still more. Like, it's like I said, we start coming out of the woodwork now. Mm-hmm. I have yeah. So I have to throw it out there to pup space because without them, I can't find, with the locator, I can't find these pups. So, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, so I try to use that website to help me find these pups and locate them and try to direct them to my Telegram group so they can be informed if they want to come or not. You know, because it's, it's not just going to be these events. Eventually, what's going to happen is I want more other things. Like if they wanted to get together to do picnics or you wanted to go <laughs> you do a hike, you know, other events besides the fetish event. I want us to be like... I want to hang out with pubs, you know, and, and friends. I want to do things and interact because they're fun. <laughs> yes, yes. And we're all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we're all crazy bunch of pubs. I love it. We fit hey. in well together. You know, it works wonderful. It works yes. wonders. Yes. <laughs> so so now's your chance to ask a question and you get to, you know, ask whatever you want to my next guest that I have on. Uh, what would you like to Ask him. Oh, boy. Oh, let's see. Oh, that'd be, that's a little tough. Because right? most of the questions that you ask are <laughs> pretty much what I would ask them, you know, like, uh, uh, hmm. If, uh, let's see. Problem. Oh yeah, this is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I never, never thought about doing that. Being, being an interviewer myself. Uh, well, do you do you want me to ask your question first and let you just kind of stew on that a minute? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, but no, that's fine. So this came from Pup Gareth out of Anchorage, Alaska, and. I never really thought about this, but you mentioned it, so I thought, well, this will be a perfect question. So, what is your favorite piece of pup literature that you have come across? Oh, it's definitely the Wolf book. Um, it's definitely filled with a lot of information. Um, I believe it's an older style book. I wish I had it here to show you. I, you know, and I think about it now that I should have brought it with me. Mm-hmm. Um, but it actually, it, it's, a, it's a thin book, but it actually it's filled with a lot of information for those starting out into the into the pup place. So definitely uh, love, uh, definitely love that book, and it's helped me out a lot, um, including any information that anybody gives, you know. But that book did help me out a lot, and I do mm-hmm. like it. And I know there's another one out there I got to get. Uh, but uh, that one I currently have, and that's the one that I currently like because uh, it helped me out a lot with a lot of information. It's very, okay. very informative. Okay. Um, so now, as for my question to ask the next pup, I think I'll make may keep it simple and ask, "What is your uh, either favorite piece of gear, uh-huh. or?" Yeah, favorite piece of gear. I'm not going to go until I was going to say what what's your favorite fetish or what, okay. but I, I I don't think that's I don't think that may not be a good thing. So I think I'll just stay with the what is your favorite gear 
piece of gear that you own. Okay, and and that'll work. That that's a really a good question because you know it just depends on uh, what you like. Everyone has something different, so. Yep. If they if they own any, who knows? You know, it's like I said, you don't need it to be to be one, but I yeah. figured I'd throw it out there. That's, all right, good, good. So now you get to share. Uh, if someone wanted to reach out to you and say hi, saw you here, how could they reach you? Um, I am, believe it or not, I am social media expanded. I am everywhere. Uh, I am, <laughs> yeah, I'm literally, I'm on, I am on Twitter. Well, X, whatever the heck you want to call yeah, it. Whatever you want I'm to on call like it. Instagram. I am, I am everywhere, but most of my main, uh, contacts are through telegram. Uh, so that's at sub underscore woofer. Okay. That is my name on telegram. And then you could find me on Facebook. You know, my name would be Paul Venturi, but I think you could find, if you look up subspace woofer, that I think it will come up and okay. you just look for my pictures. But yeah, yeah, I'm pretty much, <laughs> I'm pretty much everywhere. And, and I also have a, a group on Telegram called Neeparf, which is my uh, Northeast PA group of pups out there. Shout out to all you all you wonderful pups there. Yay! <laughs> and are starting our new little chapter. So nice, nice. I'm excited about that. So yes, oh I am too. Believe me. I'm well, so happy for it. Any any last words uh you have for us before we uh end this? Yes. Make sure you chew lots of socks every day. They are yummy. <laughs> 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 and if somebody picks and if somebody uh makes you mad, you pee on their leg and bite their ankles. Oh, there you go. Good, good advice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it then is. you act. And then when they look at you all mad and evil, you just act cute and just shake and shake your tail, and they'll just yeah. forget all about it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it, it's been such a fun time uh, sitting here getting to talk to you and, and everything. Uh, uh, I really appreciate it. Oh, I and thoroughly enjoyed it. I really thank you for doing this. You know, I, I'm i usually scared doing interviews, but I, I felt relaxed to do it, and I felt need, needed to do it, because there's a lot of info out uh, during this interview that could help somebody else. Yes, uh, agreed, agreed. So, well, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will be chatting you up again soon. All right, you have a good day, too. Oh. <laughs>